we have some uh, miserable weather. So what else to do than to reminisce a little bit about things that I said in the past? For example, about ellipses. We are going to have to find the center point where these two axes are meeting. Right, so this center point. And that is usually easy on a, on a square because you just connect the four edges and that's your center point. So in 3D space we do the same, connect the edges and we have a center point. I can draw a line from this vanishing point through this one. Now you're asking, why did, why did we draw this? It's easy. This will be our short axis. A perpendicular line-ish, right? Let's call it, yes. Now this will be our long axis. There we go. And now, and then I would say, this will be our circle. Wrong! Well, not the whole video, but that particular part is not correct. Actually, several people brought my attention to it. So I thought it is high time that I address it. And I try to rectify what I said about that part in a previous video. So let's see what I mean. So let me construct a cube again quite fast, very quickly. All right. Let me find its center like we did last time. So this is its center. Now we said we're going to draw an axis through the middle of it. So which would be coming like here. Yeah, I feel that's a perfect one. And then we have to find, we have to find a perpendicular line, which would be this one. So this would be the short axis and this would be the long axis, right, through this point. And now if I try draw a circle, would be somewhere there. Now, what I did here, I tried to draw the circle in a way where it fits into the box. Now, what we can see is that obviously this distance is smaller than this distance, this distance is smaller than this distance even though the circle seems to fit very nicely onto the, the square here. What's, what's, what's the deal with this? Well, the deal is, let us try and find the, the center of this uh, ellipse, not circle. So this half circle or half ellipse is smaller than this one. So I'm going to move this axis just a little bit higher, let's say here. And this half ellipse is smaller than this half ellipse. So I'm going to move this a little bit here. Now, this looks to be more of the center of this uh, ellipse. But as you can see very clearly, it is not the same center. It's, it still follows the same uh, uh, lines. So if if I would say like this will be the short axis and then the long axis, that the short axis is still parallel with the cube, as I showed you last time. The only thing is that I was mistaken. I thought that you could put the center of the ellipse into the center of the side, uh, center of the face of the cube, and you can't. Now, just just to show you a little bit, let me do this that and that so this is going to be the short axis and these are going to be the long axes like i said in my previous video now what i have to do is put an ellipse into each one of these here, one there, one there, one there. Okay, now let's see if I close these off. Let's see, close this here and there. And I close this there, I was lucky there, and here, and there, here, 
and there. Okay, let me take a blue one so I can uh, show this off better. And now, while in the previous example I created the, well, I found the center point of the square first, now I did the other way around. So I have the long and short axis, which is the center of the ellipse, and now I'm going to create, uh, well, find, trace the center of the rectangle. And uh, as you can see, it is already clearly visible that it is not in the same point at all. There's a distance between the two. And I can go down and look for each and every center of these uh, rectangles that I created. And you will see that the center points of each of these rectangles will be moved a little bit. Now, just to show you a, a better way of drawing these, let me go back to the first uh, square and let me just, const let me divide it a little bit more. And there we can also see that my division first time wasn't so correct. So let me move that up a little bit. But what is good here is that you can see where the ellipse that I'm putting into the rectangle touches either the sides or uh, the division lines or the diagonals in, in this line. And this is something good to keep in mind. And let me use this to draw it a couple of times into uh, squares. So let me quickly draw a square here. And then when the square is done, I'm just going to draw in the diagonals to find that center point. And through that center point, I can also draw a horizontal and a vertical to further subdivide this face. Now, when I have these, I'll just try to firstly place the, the ellipse as uh, nicely as I can, but I don't press too hard because this is just a template. And then I come in with a dark one and I make sure to mark those points where I think that my ellipse will touch uh, the sides or intersect the diagonals. And just slowly going through all the, the marks, uh, drawing the ellipse. And I think this is a, a fairly reasonable way of drawing an ellipse into a square. And I want to say this is also important because in the next video, I would like to talk about how we round off bigger squares and cubes, how we round off those sides, because that's slightly complicated, at least uh, when you talk about the theory. But as soon as you get the hang of it, you will understand it. But what you need to know is basically how to subdivide an ellipse in a square into four parts. And these four parts are decided by a horizontal and a vertical line that divides the square into four halves, or not four halves, but four quarters. Anyways, that is for a different video. Sorry for the oversight in the previous one, but mistakes are there to learn from and to share with others so they don't make the same ones. After all, that is why I started this YouTube channel, to share my knowledge, but also to interact and learn from all of you awesome people. But as always, if you like this video, hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you want more content like this. You can also follow me on Instagram for daily drawing posts. But most importantly, I wish you a great week and see you folks next time. Bye bye.